board. Gonna be a good time. FX's Hamyojo versus JR. All right, not J Wu. JR. By the way, not definitely not J Wu. Yeah, but it's JR. Not the same in the slightest. All right, here we go. Dreamland. Hamyojo, JR, music. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Game number one. We are doing round robin at this event. Six players. Plenty of Smash action to go around. Now, the thing about this matchup uh, is that most people feel that uh, Kirby definitely comes out on top. Excellent edge guarding, trumps Falcons, incredibly lackluster recovery. The thing that we're, that uh, some folks feel like, uh, most notably Kiro Kuropi, is that this matchup is, is closer to even. Uh, and a lot of that deals with who gets like those initial hits on stage. Mm -hmm. right? And while Kirby does have uh, a great tilt available with that up tilt, uh, and some great options with the down tilt as well, uh, overall, Falcon, because of how quick he is, and his ability to maneuver around the stage, especially at a stage like Dreamland, makes it so that he's just this constant threat. And that could lead to more wins in neutral in favor yeah. of Falcon. And if Falcon gets the win in neutral, then if his punish game is on point, then it's going to mean a dead opponent. So it's just weird things to think about more than anything else. Oh my god. Dude, every single time I see this, I just see Kirby not having a, a hitbox on the upper part of his up B. Well, it, I think a, a lot of it comes at the very beginning of it more than anything else. Right? And. and okay, so what yeah. you're saying is, for the most part, it's useless. Mm, well, no. No. Dude, you <laughs> could just put out a hitbox whenever. Like, he could, he could just put something out, like, right there. Like, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, free, is, free. Kirby sucks. I mean, a big part of this also is. Uh, <laughs> oh, there <laughs> nice. it is. There that is a clutch. hitbox. There's a hitbox. Got yeah. him. You gotta watch out for the hitbox coming down. Yeah, it's sure. the downward. Uh, another the thing. The upward just garbage. Well, uh, a big thing that we're not seeing from Hamyojo is that he's not smash diing towards the stage itself, right? And uh, that could be really, really big, uh, just because of how like that corner kind of works and how Kirby's recovery works as well. He gets so much verticality from it that if he maybe started smash DIing uh, even into the stage, he could potentially live a lot longer. Hamio Joe getting one of these back airs, but caught in that shield. JR had plenty of time to get in with that dare. Yeah, this is looking very close to curtains. Oh, he got that read. Wasn't able to quite punish it. It can be awkward pushing buttons sometimes, especially when you're transitioning into a new game. Oh right there. my lord! So smart. Jr. Dirty. That up B is a command grab, and yep. even though Kirby gets uh, some of that uh, that immunity from physical yep. attacks, he does not have that for grabs. And uh, I guess uh, old T Log viewers might be happy to see him Yojo repping the Yoshi again. Uh, <laughs> Oh, just kidding. Hamilton's is not playing Yoshi. It's, uh, I got baited so hard. Wishful thinking, maybe? Trigger. Come on, Hamilton. Your Yoshi was so good. No, why would he? Oh, my God. <laughs> this, this looks weird. Yeah. Hey, JR, uh, he's been working on the Yoshi a little bit, and uh, he felt really comfortable with the, with the last game. You know, I would choose Yoshi just for those uh, double jump canceled noises. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's another reason you should Wait. choose Yoshi as oh, well. Oh, did he just parry? He parried, yeah. And Holy this is parries in this game as well? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Parry, uh, really, really big there. JR able to parry him. He'll just dash attack perfectly, and that's why he had no real uh, real uh, shield stun at all. That's how many the, so the downsides of Yoshi. Uh, with Yoshi, he doesn't have an upbeat. And, sure. And that's, that's very, very detrimental. Uh, because if, especially at this kind of a percentage, it doesn't take much to get him off stage initially, and it doesn't take much to break the armor either. Uh, and that's like getting like probably like his biggest ailment. Uh, on top of that, he's a really big hurt box. Like he's just oh he's yeah, a dinosaur. He he's yeah. huge. He's freaking gigantic. He's, just, he's giant. Um, his nose is so big. Mm -hmm. But the but so the fact that he's big means that he has some big hit boxes as well. Uh, and you'll notice that uh, a lot of Yoshi's really utilize that hit box to get a lot of opportunities. See right there, like you'll notice how much 
room that that bear covers. It's yeah. just such a strong option. And Miljo still had plenty to make it back onto the stage, get some of these up tilts, and ooh, JR's still new to this. He was trying to double jump cancel in there over and over That's again. That's guaranteed, I assume. If you can do it right, uh, and if you can follow where the shield pushes are, then uh, yeah, you can break a shield almost every single time. Out. Can, as the one holding shield, can you change how the shield push goes? Uh, I, I think uh, you can slightly affect it depending on how like you're, you're angling your shield, but uh, overall, it, it's more so on how the hit connects. Now, one big thing that you can do when you're in a shield. Oh, oh man. Okay. Oh, man. That was pretty. I like it. But yeah, a big thing you can do uh, to get out of shield pressure, actually, is something called edge shielding, where you stand near uh, an edge and you just hit the shield button. And what that does is if an opponent hits you with an attack and you get pushed off of the ledge, sure. you can act out immediately. You don't go into a tumble like you do in some of the other Smash games. You act out immediately. You can come in with a counter attack. Mm. Well, you can you can do it immediately in other games as well. They just don't. Right? Uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like... Sure. It, you see, get pushed I, off and you can just go, okay, well, that's going to be death. I yep. try doing it in, in games like Melee, I guess, right? And... Uh, you maybe there's maybe there's some mm -hmm. some very fortunate for JR even oh, though he got hit by that's the bear. Be some death. Yeah, it's gonna be some death. Two stocks to one, JR in the lead in this round robin. So much damage being put right now. The egg for good measure as well. Okay, the egg doesn't. For a second, I was like, this egg last round. But it that that hitbox from the egg. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. How much percent is that? Uh, I gotta brush up I'm, on my percent. Dude, I'm asking you all the questions. Yeah. Oh. Good up, Smash. Oh, Hamlin actually does a correct handshake or fist bump this That's time. A quick fist bump. I think he's just really committed to the fist bump more than anything else. I don't know, man. He did that paper rock trade the other day, or like a couple games ago. That's true. That's true. Good games.